Hello and welcome back dear friends at Lit E City where you will find many videos that will help you in your exams like NTA Net English and today we have bring another set practice set for unit third of Net Slavers that is fiction and short stories so here is a set of questions that will check your progress and our first question is which among these is not a part of the Malayan trilogy by Anthony Burgess? Anthony Burgess is an important writer in postmodern times, and this is the Malayan trilogy. Trilogy is one of his most popular works. Is it Time for a Tiger? Second option is The Enemy in the Blanket. Third option is Inside Mr. Enderby, and the last option is bads in the east out of these four uh, novels there is one that doesn't belong to the malayan trilogy dear friends the correct answer for this is inside mr enderby the other novels like time for a tiger the enemy in the blanket and bats in the east it is part of the malayan trilogy okay our next question is Imaginary Conversations, published in 1824, is a collection of dialogues between historical and literary figures of past ages. Who is the writer? Our options are Mary Lamb, second one is Charles Lamb, third is Thomas De Quincey, and the last option is Walter Savage Lander. Now, dear friends, it was a unique work in itself, though. We cannot say that earlier efforts were not made in the similar fashion, but this work was very popular uh, work of its time, written during the high time of the Romantic period. And the correct answer, Imaginary Conversations, is a book by Walter Savage Lander in which he pitched together uh, real historical and imaginary characters, literary figures and they have some conversations about various topics. Our next question is one of the best selling writers of the 19th century, the author of about 18 novels and was also famous as the queen of the circulating library. Who is this writer? Unfortunately, she was not the part of the canon, so 20th century almost forget him, forget her for a long time. Was it Ellen Price or better known as Mrs. Henry Wood, Dina Craig? Third option is Mary Braddon and the last option is George Sand who was actually an Anglo-French writer. The correct option among these is dear friends, it is Mary Braddon who is known as the queen of the circulating libraries and she has written many uh, popular novels which were known as uh, basically uh, written in the vein of domestic novels. Next question is what is the name of the popular sub genre of 19th century novel that aimed to describe fashionable English society from the inside for those on the outside. Basically, what does this mean that this was basically a novel about the elite class, about the aristocratic class, their manners and all these things and they were quite popular during the 19th century. Was it called Silver Spoon Fiction, Silk Society Fiction, Silver Folk Fiction or Society Novels? Dear friends, the right option for this is the fashionable English novel was known as Silver Folk Novel. Edward Lytton was one of the key proponent of this type of novel. Which among these can be put into the category of New Great New Kate Crime Novel? Now, New Kate Crime Novel was itself a, a short-lived popular uh, popular sort of genre which was based on sensation. Was it Eugene Aram by Bulwer Lytton, or was it Jack Shepard by W. H. Ainsworth? Was it The Women in White by Wilkie Collins, or the last? Uh, you have to find the combination. 
was it first or second second or third and first or third or all of the three now new gate crime novel basically popularized by dickens by uh, introducing some of characters in novels like oliver twist later it become quite fashionable due to the circulating libraries people want to know more and more read more and more about these uh, criminals so all these novels actually were part of new great crime novel they all have the characters and settings uh, full of criminals and these sensational things next question is which satiric novel has articles darwin among the machines and lucubratio abria presenting the possibility of evolved humans with machines attached to their bodies so it was we can say a sort of technological utopia where man with machines were presented was it avon was it it can't happen here gulliver's travel or brave new world all these are satirical utopia or we can say in other words dystopian novels but the novel which talk about darwin among the machines and lucubrate your abria is avon by samuel butler which was uh, avon the name itself is anagram of nowhere Next question is who is the writer of early feminist works like The Wing of Azrael and The Daughters of Danaus setting the genre of fiction of the new women she was basically quite we can say path breaking and trend setter by writing at a time when such works were not in demand was it any sophie cory second option is sara brand third option is alice mona cared and the last option is ella hepward dixon dear friend it was basically alice mona cared who wrote many works that have that features strong women protagonists so we can say her a prototype a novelist before other writers came into being carlyle famously called one of his books as wild savage book which among these is that book was it his famous sartor sartors then on heroes hero worship and the heroic in history third option is past and present and the last option is the french revolution carlyle was one of the greatest figures intellectual figures during the high time of victorian period it was his the french revolution about which he himself said that it was a wild savage book he took almost 9 to 10 years to complete this great book this great we can say docu drama about uh, the timelessness period in the history of france next question is who is the writer of acclaimed islamic quintet five novels in which each of these novels is set during a particular era and geographical location important to islamic history or we can say this quintet tries to cover that uh, we can the evolution of islamic religion right from its beginning to the present time is it tariq ali or is it kamila or kamila shamsi mohammad hanif and the last option is bab se sadwa these writers have somehow written about islamic history but islamic quintet is actually the outstanding work of tariq ali in which there are five novels shadows of the pomegranate tree the book of saladin the stone women a sultan in palamo and the night of the golden butterfly question number 10 is who is the writer of the tetralogy and gazelles leaping cradle of the clouds the vermilion boat and the flame of the forest they follow all these novel follow the life of a nameless narrator protagonist thinking and getting his knowledge about the practical and philosophical world is it b rajan is it sudhin or sudindranath bhosh next option is a s p ayya and the last option is k nagarajan all these writers belong to uh, just after independence right uh, they were writing novels still the indo anglian or the novel in indian english was not set we did uh, we do not have figures like mulk raj anand arkinarayan but these writers were the early writers 
the correct option for is sudin sudindra ghosh the flame of the forest and other works are written by him which postmodern novel traces the life of a 20th century don juan from birth to death or we can say it is retelling of the classical story which have been attempted by many writers including byron is it flowerbird's parrot second option is g third option is rites of passage and the last option is the conservation of wishness the correct answer dear friend is g a novel written by john berger and it also won booker prize so it is a very popular work in which it is retelling of don juan and he situate him in the present context in the modern context The May of Tech Club is a women's hotel cum dormitory, which is the main location locus of uh, the action of this famous novel by Merle Spa. Is it the Prime of Miss Jean Brodie? Last next option is the Ballad of Peckham Rye. The next option is the Mandelbaum Gate, and the last option is the Girls of Slender Means. Maril Spark is a very acclaimed writer who has presented some modern existential and sexist problems in her works and the correct answer for this option is the girls of slender means which is set in this particular location the may of tag club which among these is not a child character featuring in a novel here are some options first is little father time second is little nell artful dodger and gabriel oak in many of the victorian novels children play important part prominent part in the course of action one among these is not a child but rather an adult you have to identify him the correct answer for this question is Gabriel Oak who is actually the protagonist of Far from the Madding Crowd by Thomas Hardy all other characters like little father time he features in Jude the Obscure little nan she is one of the most popular and immortal character by dickens in the old curiosity shop artful dodger once again is from uh, dickens famous novel oliver twist who among these have written a preface for g v desani's novel all about h atter hatter or h here stands for hindustani it is a maverick work in which desani has taken full liberty with the english language using all sort of polyglot expression and later one writer salman rushdi has also on uh, the influence of this work uh, the options are anthony burgess salman rushdi t s eliot and e m foster uh, first of three options they are somehow uh, attached to this particular novel eliot has also shown the words of praise for this novel salman rushdi obviously has said that he is quite influenced by this work and the correct answer for this is anthony burgess who has written uh, an introduction to the later edition of this novel by g v desani which famous novel is the story of scarlet o'hara who is a head strong southern american girl survives the american civil war establish a successful business a very popular novel of its time the options are gone with the wind second option is light in august third option is for whom the bell tolls and the last option is the song of the lark these are some popular work of american 20th century fiction this particular novel this particular novel is gone with the wind written by margaret michel and it is one of the greatest or most popular work Uh, later it become more popular when it was adapted into a movie with the same name scarlet o'hara faces many loveless marriages and continues to survive and strive until she emerges as one of the most uh, powerful women character in the history of american fiction which among these is not a novel by a canadian writer first option in in search of april dream tree by beatrice culton second is the stone diaries by carol shield 
intimacy by Hanif Qureshi and the last option is Life of Pi by Jan Martin. Canadian literature is considered to be a part of Commonwealth or new literatures in English. Out of these four options, it is Intimacy by Hanif Qureshi, which is uh, not a work by Canadian writer. Hanif Qureshi is a Pakistan-born English writer. Other three, Beatrice Skelton, Carol Shields and Jan Martel, they all are Canadian writers. Which among the following? Novel and its setting is not correctly matched. First is The Warden, Barsetshire. It is novel by Trollope. Second is Anna of Five Towns at Potteries, novel by Arnold Bennett. Lorna June at Wessex, novel by Blackmore. And the last is The Rainbow by D. H. Lawrence and setting at Nottinghamshire. Some of these are actual locations like Potteries and Nottinghamshire and some are fictional ones. Now the correct option dear friend is Lorna Doom by uh, R.D. Blackmore. As you can see it is uh, basically located at Exmoor and Wessex. I hope you all know is the reason where Thomas Hardy has set almost all of his novels. 60 years since is the subtitle of which enormously popular novel of its time? Was it Hard Times or is Waverly? Third option is The Monk and the last option is Silas Marna. They all were, we can say, most popular works of their time. But the correct answer, dear friends, you will be surprised to know it is Waverly by Sir Walter Scott. Later, Waverly became a complete series. Many of the novels were set with the same set of characters and setting. Which among these novels by George Kissing is based on his own unloving marriage with his first wife? Was it Netherworld? Second option is Workers in Dawn. Third is Born in Exile. And the last option is The Private Papers of Henry Rycroft. Dear friends, Gissing is considered to be a pessimist novelist. Most of his work deal with the downtrodden and exploitation and a pessimistic vision of the life. It is basically novel Workers in Dawn which present a couple which suffers from the loveless marriage similar to the author himself. Thesis novel is a novel that treats a social, political or religious problem with a didactic purpose. Which among these works doesn't fall in the category of a thesis novel? Is it Charles Kingsley's Alton Locke, Charles Reed's Hard Cash, Upton Sinclair's The Jungle or Wilkie Collins' Women in White? Or the, these are novels, one except one novel, all these novels deal with some social problem and political problem of the time. The only novel which doesn't uh, falls in this category is Wilkie Collins' Women in White, which is a mystery fiction which deals uh, with a uh, variety of sensation novels. Okay, dear friends, that's all for today's practice set, and I hope all these 20 questions give you an idea about the standard of NTA NAT. Keep preparing, keep reading and keep suggesting me what can we do to make these videos better. Thank you friends.